Hi, my name is Lily Eisler, and this is my video assignment on Vygotsky. So Vygotsky says that each person thinking is shaped by other people. So it shows that we are in a social culture. Um, we learn from other people. Other people shape what we think. And so he believed that cognitive development is embedded in social context at every age. And so children, in which he specialized in research in, um, they are very curious, they ask questions, and depending on the adult or mentor that they ask those questions to, they will get different answers, they will get different perspectives. Um, and he does say that uh, culture shapes thoughts. So whatever culture um, they ask, they will go into their perspective and they will learn from their own culture and they will be taught from their own culture, their traditions. And this is through guided participation. So children will get help, they'll get mentored from the people that are wise and already um, have been through all these traditions and know how to teach these children. Children learn so much through their parents and their mentors. And parents and mentors help out with they present challenges, um, offer assistance without taking over. Taking over would just really not help with the assistance. They would just do it themselves and they wouldn't help the child learn and how to master that skill. Um, they also um, add crucial information, encourage motivation, which is really important for the learner to try to learn and not get frustrated and just stop. So the zone of proximal development is when the child or the learner masters um, their skill. But when a child is close to mastering its skill, but not yet, just needs some assistance, um, they're not completely independent yet. And this is called scaffolding. Um, this is when a learner needs help. Um, they need support with specific needs and they need someone to tailor to their needs. Um, this is like learning how to ride a bike. Uh, some may not master that yet and they need help. They need someone to hold their waist or hold the handlebars or teach them how to stop. They're not at the zone of proximal development yet. Um, and these types of things shape their cultures. Um, the learners, they're wise. Uh, their experience, they know how to mentor um, young children, learners, and how to think within the culture and how to learn their culture's traditions. Um, they explain ideas, asking questions, reinforcing values, teaching them what it means to be in their culture and that shapes their thoughts. And their thoughts will be surrounded by what they are taught through their culture. Um, and two things that you really want to avoid being a mentor would be boredom and failure. Um, if you overwhelm them too much, they won't want to learn. They're going to stop learning. They're not going to listen to you. Um, and boredom, uh, sometimes you've got to keep it fun um, and you have to have them actively engaged and not overwhelmed. That is very important in trying to teach um, culture. Everyone needs to be actively engaged in the culture. Thank you.